Hello everybody, this is Miss Nunez and I am a computer science teacher that works um, with middle school students and this year I am using the CS Discoveries course from Code.org and my students were running into some struggles as we got into some of the more advanced content. So I'm coming through and we're going to do a couple of uh, tutorials so that students who need to can come in and kind of follow along with me. And so right now I'm going to be working on lesson 12, which is organizing content with Flexbox. Uh, so let's get into it. All right. So let's look at the instructions at the top uh, right here. It says div plus flex. The HTML division tag called div for short is a special element that lets you group similar sets of content together on a web page inside a container. It is a multi-purpose tag that you can use to do several things, including helping with web layouts and CSS. Ultimately, you'll almost always use it to style whatever it contains. Flexbox gives us a more efficient way to align and distribute space among items in a div container, even when their size is unknown and or dynamic, thus the word flex. So now we get into what we're actually doing. Um, so it says do this. Take a look at the web page below and notice the div container around the images. All right, let's do that. So I'm going to pull this up and I can still access the do this because I can scroll up and down with here. So looking at this, we're looking for the div container around the images. All right, here are our images, our gallery images, and there is our div class container. It's the start tag and the end tag. So everything in the middle, everything in here is in this uh, div container. So go look at the CSS file and notice the flex properties applied to the div. Okay, so we're going to go into the CSS file right here and we're looking for that container. Um, so we're going to scroll down and here it is. So this container applies to these images just like in index here applies to these images. All right. So in here we write div class equals uh, quote container quote bracket. And then in the CSS file, we're going to start with a dot. So a period container and then our open curly cues. Um, so display flex, we're going to have this anytime we have a flex box and then flex direction row reverse. Uh, so that is telling us that th these images are going to be in a row, but we are actually reversing them from what they were. And then flex wrap wrap means that as the browser gets wider or uh, shorter the images will wrap down to the next line if you don't have this then they'll just disappear off the side of the page so that's what that means and then justify content center that means instead of all the images being over here on the left or over here on the right they are centered on the page all right so um, we notice the flex properties there we go and hey we can tell code.org that they misspelled the word properties all right, so discuss with your neighbor. What do you think each of the properties applied to the div tag does? Well, I just kind of discussed it with you. Try using the CSS comment out code. Okay, so this comment out code to comment out one line at a time to see what happens to the layout. Well, let's do that. So backslash. All right, and then we're going to, oh, but we're only doing it to the single line. So there we go. All right, so what did this do? Refresh and save, let's see. Okay, so already I can see that the images are all on the left. They're not centered anymore. Um, we have a turtle, a cat, a porcupine. All right, I think that's a penguin, whatever, or I don't know what that is, but it's adorable. Uh, horse? <laughs> And then a red panda. All right, so we know that it, this this did something. All right, so let's get rid of this. And get rid of this. Oh, 
All right, so not only is it now centered, but we can see that the images were flipped. That is what this row does, but let's just take a look at it again. All right. So we can see that now it's centered, but the images, all right, are now no longer reversed. So we still have the turtle, the cat, the uh, porcupine, or is that a hedgehog? I don't know. Maybe they're the same thing. All right, so let's get rid of that. And then same thing here. So I'm going to put it at the end first because I'm a rebel. And then I'm going to put it over here. All right, so now remember what I said about it just going off the page. So that's what's happening here. If I extended it all the way, we'd have all the pictures. But as I change the width, we don't get that wrap feature. So that's what this line does. All right. And then last but not least, uh, the center. And we can see that when that disappears, did I do that right? Oh, they're actually on the right. Look at that. Okay. So they're still not centered, <laughs> but they are on the right now instead of on the left. So either way, we don't want that. We want them to be centered. So we're going to take that back and put that back. So refresh and save. There we go. There we go. All right. So all that's done. <sighs> okay. So we did all that. And then that's it for level one. So we press finish and move on.